What if Arcane Bombardment was used to create creature tokens instead of dealing with the opponent's board? Let's see what happens. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to a hilariously fun looking deck. Uh, this isn't one that I've actually tested at all, but it's one that I really, really look, uh, I love the look of. Uh, we'll talk about this in a second. First and foremost, though, I do want to say, uh, for, if, if you're not already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot to us. It helps us out tremendously, uh, and any and all support really does mean a lot to us. So uh, if you would, please do that. Don't forget as well, uh, we do have our new streamer, Country Fried, who's going to be hanging out with us doing some live streams throughout the week. I believe Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday are the days that he will be streaming in the evening. Please do check out the full stream schedule as well as the full content schedule on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. We've got it just under the videos tab there, so you can check on the content calendar. We'll be updating that, of course, as if, if things change, if we add some stuff. But just so you guys are aware of what's going on, I want to make sure that that is there for you. Uh, I'll try and remember also to start throwing a link down below for you guys just to make that a little bit easier. But let's talk about today's deck. This is brought to you by uh, MTG Arena Original Decks, who is obviously a fantastic channel, great deck builder, and uh, does do the signature 61 cards in the list, not just 60. Uh, and so I, I saw this in looking through some deck lists for this morning, and it really caught my eye. Uh, and the reason being is it uses Arcane Bombardment in a slightly different fashion. Now, I said in the stinger or in the intro that this doesn't really deal with the opponent's board. That's not entirely true. Uh, we do have Burn Down the House. We have things like uh, Igneous Inspiration. We've got Rip Apart. We've truthfully... Oh, and uh, Incandescent Aria, which is a crazy good card. So we've got a lot of really good stuff that does deal with what the opponent's doing. But the main goal of this deck is to create a bunch of tokens. Uh, and we do that with the Arcane Bombardment using things like Invoke the Ancients. Uh, we've got Lorehold Command, which can spit out some tokens. We've got, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, well, Burn Down the House can. Uh, join the Dance can. We've got a lot of options here that can create tokens uh, to really bolster up our board in just a single turn. And then, of course, it gets stronger and stronger each turn. So I'm really curious to see how this one goes. It's kind of a fresh new look at Arcane Bombardment. Normally, you see it in a lot of control shells where the goal is to basically just burn the opponent out. Uh, and certainly we can do that with the uh, the inspiration here. This does hit any target, but the goal is really to create uh, a bunch of tokens and, and swing in for the win. So we're going to try and do that today. I think it's going to be a blast. Uh, normally, what I try and do is give the deck at least a, a quick test run, just so I make sure I understand kind of the, the nuances of it and that kind of stuff. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to jump in completely blind and we're going to learn together as we go through this one. Uh, first and foremost, though, again, I just want to say MTG uh, Arena Original Decks, thank you so much for sharing this list. We're going to have a blast with it, guys. So regardless of what happens, you'll see the full thing. Let's jump in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, I mean, we can keep this based on the fact that we've got quite a lot of interactive pieces. We don't have the bombardment, but we we don't really want that in the opening hand anyway. Uh, what we're able to do is Fateful Absence into the Inspiration and then into Burn Down the House. So this feels pretty good. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I don't really want them to play anything with that out, so I feel like it's worth it to go ahead and, and uh, burn, or basically just remove that. We also, I know they get the clue token, but it looks like they're not going to go for that anyway, so that's fine by me. Uh, and then now we've actually got the Inspiration, which is just a better way to deal with this, uh, because we do get that Learn mechanic off as well. Now, they could have a Snakeskin Veil here, uh, which it looks like they do, and that's fine. That really does kind of hamper us a little bit solely because they uh kind of beat us with the learn trigger uh which is i mean not great obviously but we do have the burn down the house and so we've got ways we can actually sweep the board here uh which we certainly will uh at some point so we'll see how things go uh i think we definitely just throw this out um now the question is do we cycle this away we could do that whenever, so I'm going to wait. We do need four green for the Invoke the Ancients, so that is something to consider here, but um, I think I think we will cycle this away. We're going to take a pretty big hit here, there's no doubt, uh, which is not great. We do have a double burn down the house play uh, at some point, so that's helpful. Um, 
one thing to note we do need to make sure we burn down the house pre-combat uh because this does double their power toughness so we just have to consider that as we're going through but let's just go ahead and do it and hope they don't have another snake skin well even snake skin veil doesn't get them out of this so this is actually pretty safe um cool go ahead and get rid of their board and now again we've at least stabilized with the intention that we can do it again if need be oh well we're just dead all right good game <laughs> uh well kind of unfortunate there um i don't think there's anything we really did wrong they just had the right card so you know what cool good on them let's jump into a game too what's up guys before we jump into the next game i just want to remind you if you would like to pick up this month's patreon rewards feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves all right guys here we are for game number two uh and this is actually a pretty nice hand um we can commune with the spirits if we need to turn one but truthfully we don't we can just uh play the the garden and then play the green source and then join the dance at some point so i think i'm gonna go that route uh looks like a potential control deck maybe zombies it could be a lot of different things so we'll see um but again we're not really in a rush here so i'm i'm okay with this um yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and join the dance there's not a huge reason not to um again the idea is that we can use this later on as needed to so that's fine uh let's commune first let's just see what we get all right just to land that's fine um let's go ahead and get the double red because we know we'll need it Ooh, actually that might have been a bit of a mistake what we should have done is use the other land for the red and use this one for green uh just because we do know we have invoke but it's okay we're learning as we go so that's perfectly fine uh it does look like esper either control or planeswalkers or something like that or angels okay uh thankfully we can easily kind of deal with that but i'm gonna go ahead and get some uh life gain going here um i think the play is pretty clear we just inspiration to kill that uh and what do we want i mean i think it's just the basic land play um go ahead and attack in a little bit here we're getting fairly close so we only need two more lands before we can arcane bombardment the trick is uh and one thing to note with this deck is we do need a cheap enabler for the arcane bombardment sometimes that's environmental sciences sometimes it could be something else uh at the moment we don't have a great option i mean environmental sciences is fine so we can certainly go that route uh i think we attack in and then just burn down the house uh yeah i think that's kind of the play and i think this is a pretty obvious play but uh the reason being we can't let the valkyrie wow they just took it i thought that was a very clear like we've got a, a sweeper play but that's fine we can't really let the righteous valkyrie stick on the battlefield that's just a big no-no for the deck uh and truthfully because burn down the house is in the graveyard now it just kind of sets up a play where we can really go crazy on uh the next few turns here so that's kind of fine um green source is good all right so do we risk just the the flat out arcane bombardment for nothing i think so um they could very easily have vanishing burst there's a million things they could have here so this is very risky uh no doubt about it uh there's a million reasons to not do this and that's one of them um all right fair enough you got it um any target okay uh so i'm trying to think what we can do here now um i mean we've got some options but they're all kind of bad uh we can do this we can do this might as well go ahead pull that red source just for the sake of why not um so we do get to choose two here so let's kill a thing and let's actually sacrifice a permanent so we're gonna kill this um i'm gonna sacrifice a land to draw two here again we are trying to get to something here so lorehold command does allow us that opportunity to draw a little bit further into the deck and that's pretty important um wow so good so good all right sick um 
so good news bad news there this is a very good card it isn't like incredible against us but it is quite good um all right so we can sweep here actually so let's burn down the house first that's fantastic uh we can destroy the enchantment but i don't actually think we care to i think i'd rather just get this off the field we have no creatures to sacrifice so like that doesn't matter and when we do get a lot of creatures we should be able to just continuously play a lot of creatures so it really doesn't matter that this is on the field it's more of a minor annoyance than anything else and we worth noting do get to replay the bombard or the uh rip apart hopefully at some point here so throw you out uh we can invoke the ancients um yeah i mean i think we go for this i don't see a huge reason not to um i'm gonna go reach and yeah i think just reach we're against an angels deck so like my thought is pretty clear we just need to be able to block angels um i assume they have a vanishing verse sure again that's kind of fine i don't really care that much um This also hinders the Cave of the Frost Dragon that they have on the field. So, again, I feel like this is pretty relevant. Uh, this does nothing, by the way. This is non-token creatures, so this really doesn't hit anything. Um, but it is very good for the deck, obviously. But honestly, against an Angel's deck, it's a little tricky. Um, all right. I will, I think, just go ahead and take out uh, Kaito here unless they want to activate the cave of the frost dragon oh they're gonna phase it out okay well then i'm just gonna join the dance we don't have much else we can do so we might as well just go ahead and you know fill up the board with whatever we can at the moment uh interesting that they have slip out the back in the deck um it doesn't seem like a deck that super capitalizes on that i mean they certainly have cards to protect but what in the world interesting uh well thankfully again we have the answer to that they do get to draw a card here which is great um but hopefully it's nothing playable <laughs> interesting all right so i think we do this first because we just kind of need to get something commune i will take let's go ahead and commune and we are getting very unlucky uh no arcane bombardment here yet let's go ahead and do this we're just going to kill the Limbala here, essentially. Uh, unless they have a slip out the back again, which is, like, kind of fine. We have to sack a creature. Thankfully, we have one ones that don't really matter. And then we can go ahead and do this. Uh, let's attack here and let's attack here. The only thing this punish punishes is another slip out the back, but I don't put them on another slip out the back. Uh, not there. Wow. Okay, sick. Uh, I mean, that's very good. Target attacking creature knives. Okay, so this is a really nice little combo because this is unblockable. So this is going to continuously uh, gain counters. So we are on a pretty relevant clock now. And unfortunately, we just cannot draw anything but land. Uh, so we are racing. We are absolutely racing at the moment. The trick is they also have a Cave of the Frost Dragon and we do not. So... Um, I'm gonna just play the land the only reason i do want to ensure we play the lands are because if we do draw some like lorehold command we'd love to be able to play lorehold command and then uh ideally you know um play whatever we draw off of that so we really need to have as much land as possible here that's so bad for us okay oh huh well that changes the math a little bit doesn't it um okay sick we kind of get to reset the board again here we do take the hits all right sick let's burn down the house get rid of everything that's all fine um and yeah i mean again we we play the land we're both in top deck mode uh this is so good but they have a cave so now we are we are basically just racing a cave invoke the ancients would be a great draw right now wow okay that was really weird um 
reach and reach pretty straightforward play like if we if we don't give it reach we probably die to cave um that changes the math because they have lifelink i'll take a revitalize just to draw a card uh that really changes the math um okay so we attack first you're going to be able to kill the Lisa with the inspiration. They gain four out of the deal. This is fine. So we don't get to kill. Oh, we just get to kill. Oh, no, we don't. Duh. Okay, never mind. We'll deal three there. Um, I think the right call is just mascot exhibition. Um, just to spread stuff out here. We could have dealt with the Archangel, but I think I think the damage race is the better race. I don't know. This is weird. This is a tough game, um, especially for a deck that we are just now trying out. But you know what? That's okay. All right, so they do attack in. That's fine. They're back up to eight. Big score. We can't. Ah, uh, the reason to hold on to cards was big score. That makes sense. Um, I mean, we just attack with everything. I don't think there's a big reason not to. They can kill with the Righteous Valkyrie something, basically. Um, but they lose. Heck yes. What a game. Oh my gosh, what a game. That We didn't get to Bombardment, but that was such a good game. All right, sick. Uh, let's do game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a keep. It's uh, it's a little bit sketchy. We do have a way to, you know, affect the board with a lot of kill spells. And then, of course, adding to the board here. And then Revitalize is just a nice enabler at some point. So we'll we'll definitely get somewhere. Easy Garden first, first turn. Um, all right. What do we want to do? I think we can just throw the mountain out, honestly. And I'll pass here. I'm not going to... Uh, join the dance quite yet um it looks like this is definitely a blood on the snow deck so you know oh no the game froze all right be right back all right uh sorry about that guys the game just completely froze for some reason but we are back i am going to continue with this game uh just for the sake of why not um and we'll do this uh no idea what exactly happened but i guess we revitalized they play land they pass and that's kind of where we're at so that's cool um let's go ahead and play the white source here um do we want to go ahead and burn the eye twitch uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take it they could deadly dispute here which would really kind of mess this up um yeah it looks like they're going to that's fine I don't really care that much about this it was more about the fact that we could have pulled something from the sideboard which hit which hurts a little bit but like this in itself isn't that big of a deal um so they did get a pest summoning oh they've got invoke okay well that's very good thankfully we're slightly geared towards life gain here okay Sick. let's see um that's invoke despair is very good against arcane bombardment so that is something to consider um all right so this actually does guarantee work which is kind of nice uh let's pick up i think it's just environmental sciences honestly um they get their own that's fine let's go ahead and pull a basic land we do again green is the focus here because we need one more green for the invoke the ancients place so we're actually pretty close to making that a live draw uh join the dance we do kind of want to start pressuring them at some point not that join the dance is a huge pressure point by any means uh but it is a means to an end that they are going to have to consider so you know it's something that we we might be able to push out there okay uh, thankfully, Burn Down the House does a pretty good job of dealing with her. Um, the, or truthfully, just, yeah, that, that's better. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, 
let's do this in the proper order here. I'm going to go ahead and just not allow that. Um, all right, so here's the trick. We do want arcane bombardment, but we want to be able to play arcane and then something. So part of me is wondering if we join the dance next. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm not positive on this, but we're going to pass. Uh, we do get to leave up Fateful Absence, which is kind of nice. Um, sure. They seem perfectly willing to tap out as well, which is fine by me. Um, or at least get close so they can draw a card here if they want. They shouldn't. Technically, they should wait. All right. Uh, let's play you. I'm going to just play the Arcane Bombardment here. This really baits out an Invoke Despair if they've got it. I don't think the mono black version of the list has a lot of other opportunities to deal with Arcane Bombardment unless they have got the control element in the sideboard uh, based off of the learn mechanics. So they probably will have an option for this, but we're basically saying like, hey, deal with this or some bigger stuff's going to happen. The other trick here is that we have a backup bombardment and we're not in a life total presence where it's like that big of a deal if we take a, a hit this turn. So they do have the Invoke Despair. So again, that really baits it out. But if we draw a land, we can go Arcane Bombardment, join the dance. And now all of a sudden, or Fateful Absence, and now all of a sudden we're in like a much better position. Um, so really a land here, an untapped land is like A plus right now. That's exactly what we want. And there we go. Awesome. So we do this. Uh, let's hope they don't have anything. And then here we go. So at the very least, we're going to get one hit. Oh, that's pretty good too. Uh, drawing a card here is actually really good. Plus the life gain. I will absolutely take it. All right. So now we just have to hope they don't have another invoke despair, uh, which, ah, uh, of course they do. Um, okay. Yeah. It's really unfortunate, um, but at the very least, again, we did kind of bait out three of them at this point, so that's helpful. We do have Burn Down the House available as well, so I'm going to take the block here, expecting that we'll probably just burn down the house. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We don't really want them to have all this stuff, so I'm... I'm just taking the uh, the kill as we can get it. I normally would want to wait on this because they are a Planeswalker deck. So, like, that's something to consider. However, with the Fateful Absence, we actually have some outs there. So, that's all fine. Okay. Um, they do gain a couple life here, but that's it. Let's see what happens. Uh, man, what, a, what an interesting game. All right. Very good and lol all that's terrible um okay so we let that happen let's see what they do if they don't flip this we have a way to kill it um and they don't wow ballsy let's go ahead and kill loth here they do i am sure have plenty of ways to bring loth back but i am gonna go ahead and kill the Domnathi here. There's no reason not to. And I will join the dance just so we've got ways to block. So now we're basically all in. They have like a grip full of cards. There's probably no way we win this game. Um, yep. So they're going to be able to get a Planeswalker back or just Henrika. Wow. Kind of surprised they went that route based on the fact that we do have a number of sweepers in the deck, but that's fine by me. I'm also surprised they're not attacking with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant because they can start, like, really racing us and getting stuff out of our graveyard, which seems kind of relevant. I wish we had any other spell at the moment, but I'm actually going to pass and hope that we draw a spell next turn. Uh, or we don't die. <laughs> One of the two. Um, be really sick to hit the Incandescent. Is it... Incandescent, yeah. Oh no, they've okay. Burn down the house would be great. Burn down the house would be so sick. <laughs> All right. Yep. Big brain plays. They start uh, gaining some life here. 
All right. I mean, it's a spell. Please don't kill me. I don't know what we hit. Um, I'm just going to hit them. I have no idea if this is correct, but like if I don't hit another burn spell, this is dead. So, or this isn't dead. So, okay. And a land. Yay. Uh, I assume it's just mascot exhibition. I don't know if they have invoked despair. We're pretty much just dead, which I mean, there's really not a huge. It'd be very likely that they have another invoke despair at this point. OK, maybe they don't. Maybe they're digging for it. Uh, that's not an invoke despair. All right. <laughs> what a game, guys. What a game. All right. Cool. So again, if we hit like a burn down the house, we are really in good shape uh, off of this next hit. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> We're gonna just mascot exhibition. There's no literal no reason not to. What do we hit? Oh, sick. Uh, that's actually very good. Yeah, I'm just definitely gonna kill Soren. We draw a card. Lorehold command is pretty interesting um one thing to note by the way we actually get to big score on their turn uh which does trigger everything once again so that's pretty important here um sure they're really digging for an invoke despair uh which is again 100 percent the correct play but uh this is this is gonna be an interesting one guys very very interesting if we have one more land we could actually do this and give all of our creatures indestructible which would be really sick but not gonna happen uh one two three four yeah we only have four all right uh okay so i think we let that happen i don't think we we do anything about that very curious to see how this goes um again we let this happen because there's not a lot we can do about it anyway so i'm okay with that they're just trying to get the attack in with the flyers here so then if they pass to end step we just big score Ooh, i wish we could do so much right now but i'm gonna big score still here uh here's the reason wait why am i doing this now Oh my god, I'm an idiot. We should have waited until after the blood on the stove. That was so stupid. I'm an idiot. Uh, yep, this was really dumb. I shouldn't have done this. Absolute dumb play on my end. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. We do get to refill our hand here, so it really isn't that big of a deal anyway. Um... Because we just get to do all of this again on our opponent's turn. We actually get to kill the uh, meat hook if we want as well. All right. This was like the worst, worst possible thing I could have done. We should have just done it at the end of the turn. But here we are. We could have then killed the Soren. That's all fine. We are getting to a point though where we should be able to like really go off. So it, it'll work out. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do get to kill the Lolth, like, pretty efficiently, as well as the Soren. Uh, okay, so let's rip apart, dealing three damage to the Lolth. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That was so stupid. Uh, oh, we got burned down the house. Sick. Let's just do that. Uh, let's do this. And I'm actually going to line to play the because we don't need to and we don't need to give them a uh, token of any kind so why did i play in this order guys i suck at this deck <laughs> it's fine everything is fine yeah i get it um all right whatever it's okay everything is fine i'm so bad at this deck the sequencing of this is so wrong 
please take that with a grain of salt because my goodness is this the worst version this is the worst way you could play this deck uh but it's fine because arcane bombardment is really good so hopefully they just don't have an invoke despair and we can just win the game that'd be pretty sick cool that's cool uh let's just do this now because we can actually kill this which is relevant all right thank goodness despite oh god all right we're gonna talk about all this let's let's wrap it up <laughs> all right first of all mtg arena original decks thank you so much for creating a deck uh that was really awesome and completely let down by me uh thankfully we still won that last game but there is absolutely no reason we should have our sequencing was terrible absolutely terrible i was thinking one thing and not thinking about the optimal play so that was entirely my fault uh regardless though we did win the game and we actually got two wins out of the three which is pretty good for this deck i think that's like really really solid so i love this deck i think this is sick uh we did get to see arcane bombardment kind of do its thing in that last game despite again misplays on my end uh we did get to see it really work its magic and uh i love it i thought it was great so i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i highly encourage you to check it out we will see i am sure uh, a number of different arcane bombardment lists just because there are so many different ways that you can create this list and and have some fun with it and i really encourage you guys to to tech it out play around with it see what you guys can do because it's just really really good uh and so i i've really enjoyed this one guys i hope you all did uh please leave a like throw an f in the comments for me uh just absolutely destroying the sequencing of this deck but uh i hope you guys did enjoy this because it really was a blast so thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one